Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to discuss about a very important tool of a Lean Six Sigma project that is called cause and effect metrics. This tool can be used either in prioritizing the inputs or in prioritizing the solutions. So today we are going to learn how it can help you prioritize your solutions. In cause and effect metrics, customer requirements are ranked by the order of the importance to the customer. The solutions and the customer requirements are ranked by their interaction impact. So let's understand all of this with the help of an example. So this is the cause and effect metrics of an accuracy improvement project. The customer requirements in this case are the cost, time to implement and impact on process accuracy. And there are few solutions that the team has already figured out how to improve the overall process accuracy that they want to train people for two hours on the basic errors that they are making. The second one was to create a feedback mechanism in which they will check the transactions and generate an accuracy score and then share the feedback with the employees that where are they making errors. And the third is change the database entirely and the fourth one was to implement the robotic process automation in one of the processes. So these are the four solutions they want to prioritize and as I already told you that the customer requirements are cost, time to implement and impact on process accuracy. In cause and effect metrics the relationship between the solutions and the customer requirements are identified with the help of this relationship metric which is on the right hand side bottom corner of your screen which says if there is a strong relationship the rating scale will be 9. If there is a moderate relationship between the customer expectation or customer requirement and the solution then the score will be 3. If the relationship between the customer requirement and the solution is weak we will give a rating scale of 1. Friends you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 steps to problem solving which talks about Six Sigma concepts and my second book is Continuous Improvement the Lean Way which talks about the lean concepts. So in this particular example the importance given by the customer on the customer requirements are they want cost to be less and that is why the importance is 10 for this and then they say the impact on the process accuracy should be high and the importance scale that they have provided is 9 and time of implementation they are saying it should be less and the importance rating scale is 8. So if you look at these arrows on the left hand side which are just popped up on your screen cost should be less, time of implementation should be less and impact on accuracy should be high. That is why these arrows are upward and downward facing. Downward means less and upward means more. Training for 2 hours, it is a cost effective solution so lower the cost, higher the rating which is 9 in this particular case. If you look at the time of implementation, only need a trainer and a training room plus the participants. It is easy to implement, it will take lesser time. So the rating scale is 9 in this case. Impact on the process accuracy would be very high so hence there is a strong relationship so 9 is given. The overall rating scale is 10 into 9 plus 8 into 9 plus 9 into 9 gives 243. Second is the feedback mechanism. The feedback mechanism is to be created. They have to identify a resource which will check their accuracy on daily basis. And secondly, they will have to then pass that feedback back to the employees on daily basis. So that feedback mechanism would be a little more costly than compared to training for two hours. However, if I compare that feedback mechanism with the other implemented solutions which will be changing the database and implementing RPA, that is still very cost effective. Hence, the rating scale is 9. Time of implementation will be little more because as I told you, they have to identify a resource who will check the transactions on daily basis. So that is why resource identification, checking of the cases on daily basis, passing on the feedback to the employees on the daily basis will take little more time. So hence, it is a moderate relationship. So a 3 is given and then it will impact the process accuracy definitely and hence the rating scale says as 9. The overall score will be identified as 10 into 9, 90 plus 8 into 3 which is 24 plus 9 into 9 which is 81. Adding all those 3 will give us 195. Moving on to the next solution which is changing the database. 
it is not at all a cost effective solution so hence it is a weak relationship with the cost so the rating scale is one time to implement change in database will be more so hence there is a weak relationship and a rating scale of one is given it will create a huge impact on the process accuracy and hence the score will be nine in this particular case overall score is 10 plus 8 plus 81 which is 99 implementing the rpa solution so it is still not very cost effective but it is better than changing the entire database so hence a three is given here and three to time of implementation compared to the change in the database versus the other two solutions and then if you look at impact on the process accuracy will be very huge so hence the score is 9 in this particular case as well overall score 10 into 3 30 plus 8 into 3 24 plus 9 into 9 is 81 overall summation of all these will give us 135 this particular metric has logically provided that okay which solution should be implemented first if you look at this 243 is the highest score so training for two hours is the first solution that has to be implemented second solution is providing or creating a feedback mechanism as per the score it has to be implemented next then implementing rpa and finally if there is a cost budget and everything with the organization they can change the database also otherwise by implementing these three solutions they will be able to provide quite an improvement in the accuracy so friends i hope you like this video and if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends I'll see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts.